Treat the patient and be sure the patient's clothing is protected with a napkin. Please select the stock tray that will cover all the landmarks indicating the denture bearing areas. Check the impression tray and make sure it covers the hamular notches posteriorly. The fission tray borders should be corrected by adding utility wax. Mix the alginate following the manufacturer instruction. Then load it into the stock tray. Stand in front of the patient and place the tray at the left corner of the mouth. Reflect the right corner of the mouth with a mouth mirror. Seat the loaded tray posteriorly first, then push slowly to the front so that the alginate flows anteriorly. Center the tray over the residual ridge so that the tray handle is in alignment with the median line of the face. At this time, elevate the upper lip so that the alginate flows into the labial sulcus. The seating pressure is stopped and border molding is performed so that the impression is not overextended. Hold the tray in place until the alginate has completely set. Remove the impression from the mouth. Inspect the impression to determine if it is acceptable. Disinfect the impression using current recommended surface disinfectant for 10 minutes in a sealed bag prior to proceeding to the lab. Alginate impressions tend to be overextended, so the denture outline should be drawn on the impression with an indelible sticks. This outline will be transferred into the cast and will be helpful to fabricate the custom tray.